Hey guys, so some life advice from me is never go to zero. And that might sound pretty obvious, but it's really not. Um, when you invest in stuff like crypto, real estate, stocks, S&P 500, people really focus on the ceiling, like how much money can I make? And the ceiling is always very attractive on risky investments. So if you want to invest in crypto, the riskier the coin, the more money you can make because that's the idea. The idea is that people wouldn't put all this money into something with high risk if there wasn't high reward. That makes sense. But then when the asset goes to zero or goes to very close to zero like MetaZoo, then they have doubts. Then they are like, wow, that, that's terrible. I, I can't believe that happened. Well, that's just kind of the nature of the game, right? I mean, if you are uncomfortable with the, the end result loss, then don't play the game. If you are uncomfortable, and I tell this to clients all the time in immigration, is that there are bizarre, low probability, but there's still floor results, right? And there are things that you can do to increase the floor, but maybe the ceiling goes down as well. So everyone has risk. You guys know I love gambling. I no longer gamble as much or at, at all. I, mean, I guess you could call stocks and magic cards gambling. But MetaZoo is one of those investments. They always talk about the ceiling. The ceiling is the next Pokemon. Oh, look at these boxes, Pokemon. They're half a million dollars a booster box. Oh, MetaZoo can be half a million dollars in a booster box, right? It's not. It, it cannot. So if you are not able to handle the fact that it can go to zero as a high risk, and most people are not. I, I am not. I am absolutely not okay with investment, what I would call an investment, going to zero. That to me is not an investment. That's gambling. Right? That's straight up gambling. If I expect to go to zero, that's me going to a poker room with 500 or thousand dollars. I might come out of the poker room with zero dollars, right? But for a stock, the S&P 500 will never go to zero. A real estate investment will never go to zero, right? You can always sell the land or um, figure out, you know, maybe a rent until it becomes profitable and wait it out. There are many investments that are really, really bad. I invested in this oil company called Diamond Offshore. It bankrupt during COVID. But it actually didn't go to zero. Somebody bought it and then they gave me shares of this new stock. And now it's, you know, recovering. As long as, just like poker, as long as you don't go to zero, there is a chance for a recovery. MetaZoo, unfortunately, has gone to zero. It is literally sitting in garbage cans right now. Um, I can't think of a better way to put it. The boxes are selling, like, for my time... As a lawyer, it doesn't make sense. Even if you gave me 20 free pallets of MetaZoo, I couldn't sell them for $15 a pallet, $15 a box, and then go to the post office to deliver them. And my time, in that time that it would take me to sell, let's say, $400 of MetaZoo profit, $400 profit, would I probably could make maybe $1,000, $2,000 doing patent stuff or immigration stuff. At the end of the day, your time is among your most valuable resources, right? And that's why I've gone from three videos to two videos because my time, you know, I'm expecting a baby soon. Um, and my time is becoming more valuable towards the end of that you know, pregnancy period as we do more uh, checkups, more things like that. So we're probably only going to get two videos, maybe some shorts, right? Because I like shorts and they're really easy to take and I like the AI factor of it. It's kind of fun to learn. But when something goes to zero, that's not a good investment. That's gambling, guys. So the difference between an investment, now some investments do go to zero, right? They're Ponzi schemes, scams. And these would I would be called scams. They're, they weren't really investments. They were, they were told to you that I was an investment, like an Enron or something like that, or a Bernie Madoff fund. Yeah, they looked like they were investments, but in, in actuality, they were never actual real investments. I think that the most dangerous thing in life is to go to zero. 
Um, there is, on my other channel, I made a video about uh, a millionaire, and he was trying to prove, he's one of these hustle bros, right, that if you work really hard, you can become from homeless to millionaire. So he was trying to do that, and he quit. He quit in the middle, not even in the middle, and like very early on, uh, having made only $64,000 revenue or $32,000 $2, profit, and the only reason he actually survived was he was dating a doctor, and she allowed him to stay at his uh, her place for free so basically he wasn't homeless he didn't have any mental physical problems coffeezilla it, it's exploding everywhere online right now and the issue i have with that particular thing is it's really hard to make money in america but you need somebody you need mentorship you need someone to help you along the way and you do need to get lucky a little bit or a lot depending on your skill set so meta zoo going to zero is disastrous for everyone who invested in it because if, if you invested in pokemon i promise you you still can sell your pokemon cards maybe you take a 50 percent loss 60 but whatever but you could also hold it until it goes up again because sometimes it does go up again like i told you about the diamond offshore company i thought it was done but somebody bought it and they gave me some shares it wasn't a lot of money at the time but now it's you know it's it's doing okay you never know. As long as you, it's like poker, if you continue to play poker and you still have chips in front of you, you can still win. That's the that 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 I think is. I know we talk about gambling, not gambling, right? To use gambling para, uh, metaphor for a context of not gambling. But when you go to zero, when you go to literal garbage, right? It, it's not. It's impossible to recover. Right, no one wants your MetaZoo cards. No one wants them. They've lost ninety nine percent. There's a big difference when a Pokemon card loses. Let's say, let's say first edition Charizard PSA ten goes from half a million dollars Shasta T video to two hundred fifty thousand. Okay, you're not at zero. You still have two hundred fifty thousand dollars, guys. That's a lot better than zero. And, and this is what I have to teach you uh, in life is. Many people, they're attracted to the high reward. They're attracted to the ceiling and the FOMO and the turn on the assembly line. They're attracted to that thing and, and they don't really understand that like, so I can make you, I can put this in a very, if you're here, I'm going to explain something really important to you. If you win a lottery ticket for $100 million and then, or you win a lottery for $1 billion, at $100 million versus $1 billion, what has your life really changed? If I give you $100 million today, or I can give you $1 billion 40 years from now, the logical thing, people would say mathematically, was just wait for the $1 billion. But what you should be doing is taking the $100 million and enjoying your life. Because that's more money than you could ever spend for most people. That's what I'm suggesting is people want to get really rich, really wealthy when that doesn't really matter. We're just stable 5% growth, 10% growth every year. That's what you actually need to change your life and make it better. You don't need a lottery ticket because you're not going to win. That's why the lottery tickets are so successful. There's not that many winners.